All right, we're back with another episode of Squeaky Chair Recordings. Okay, this week we're going to talk about something that's very near and dear to my heart. Artificial intelligence. All right, now this is going to be like, I'm going to kind of go off the rails a little bit on some stuff, but I just love everything artificially intelligent. I, I want the chips in my wrist. I want them connecting to my brain. I want them to take me to a virtual world. Like, I want all of that. I want to get in an autonomous car. I want to go to sleep. I want to wake up in New York City. And then after the weekend's over, get back in the car, go to sleep at night, wake up on the shores of uh, California or whatever. I want all of that. So I'm. could you imagine if they found a way to download your brain like a, um, like a hard drive and you can take the information that's on your brain and you can you know, store the things you don't want anyone to see and you could then show uh, people the things you do want them to see. Like, can you imagine showing someone your third birthday party? Like they download it from your brain and you show it on an iPad or, you know, whatever and, and just be able to show people your third birthday party or when you, things that you don't even remember. Like, I don't know, your first birthday party. You know, you can't remember what you did when you were one years old, but watching the whole full year of your first uh, first year alive. Or, like, you know, they have those things now on gravestones where uh, instead of it just says, here lies, you know, whoever. It's like a little screen in there, and you press a button, and it tells the person's life and pictures and all that other stuff of the person that's buried there. So in 100 years from now, you can go to a gravestone and see how people lived or well, that person lived 100 years later. But what I got to say is you guys are making it way, way too easy for these data mining people. All right. Now, not to insult anyone's intelligence, but what data mining is, is they are basically like mining for gold kind of thing. But instead, they're mining for data. So what does that mean? That means that each person that wanders the earth, they have a certain amount of data that they have. They have their address, their phone number, their what they see every day, what they eat every day, what what kind of shows they watch on TV. They have all this information that is just privy to them. No one else really has it. So the only way anyone else can get it is for you to give it to them somehow. Mining for your information, which is basically data mining. So they want your data so they can use it. Well, if they just said to you, hey, listen, um, we want all your information about you, you'd be like, yeah, no, I'm not giving you anything, you know? Uh, so they started off with, like, your Apple ID, right? So you, you, oh, listen, we just need your name, we need your phone number, we need your address, we're not going to do anything with it. We'll just have it here so we know what products you're buying from Apple, so you're good. You know what I mean? Trust us, we're not going to do anything with it. So you're like, yeah, well, you know, I really, really like that Apple phone. So uh, I'm going to give them my information. And then they told me that since I have my own Apple ID, all my information gets stored under that. So it's like easy. It's real simple, whatever. Then it's like, listen, how do we get, like, if you ask everybody in the country, like, you know, um, it'd be really great to have everyone's phone number, not, not phone number, their fingerprint, like, so what we'll do is next time they come in to buy a phone, we'll just say like, hey, we need your fingerprint too. You know, no, we're not going to do anything with it, but you know, it just just helps us out to have it. You'd be like, what? To buy a phone? I'm not giving you my fingerprint. That's, that's ludicrous. But if they put it on their phone as like a high-speed special security package, then you will voluntarily scan your thumb or finger or whatever fingerprint that you want on there. And now all they do is they take that fingerprint... And they put it on your Apple ID. So now they have your name, your number, your address, your fingerprint, you know, all that other stuff. But you know what would be really great? If somehow we can convince people to let us get a, like a scan of their face. Because everybody's face is different, right? So if we can get a scan of their face, that would really, like, data mining would be phenomenal. We'll be able to get all sorts of information from people. Yeah, but nobody's going to walk into Apple and say, hey, I'm here for my face scanning. But you know what? If you can make an emoji where it makes me look like a goat and I can send a text to people, then I'm all in. I am all in. Scan my face, do whatever. And that's what people are doing. So now you have facial recognition, you have fingerprints, your name, your number, your address, all that other stuff. They come up with voice cloning apps. Voice cloning apps, they're out there right now. Look it up. You can get on a voice cloning app. They ask you to say like 100 words or something like that. 
and then they'll whatever you type in there will say it in your voice the world is going nuts but i love it i want all of that i want 10 of me 10, 12 of me cr clone me make me do me give me the emoji goat i, I want the whole thing I, I mean i'm i'm all in but that's not enough information because now that we have your face we have your fingerprints we have your address your phone number um facial recognition we can get you to talk like a goat we have all that other stuff what we really want is your dna that that's what we really really want so instead of following you around and then taking like every soda can you drink out of and swabbing it and get your dna from there how can we get you to voluntarily give us your dna oh you know what we could do we could say that we're gonna like do your ancestry right you, you want to know where you came from. You want to have some idea. You know, you got whatever kind of heritage that you want to hold on to and be proud of and all that other stuff. So how about we get you to swab your own damn face and then you send it to us and we can tell you what nationality you are. And then we can have your DNA, your facial recognition, your thumbprints, all of you, all of the stuff that you voluntarily gave up. Man, that would be phenomenal if any... No one's ever going to do that. I mean, we could put some commercials on TV for Ancestry This or 1, 2, 3, Me, Times 5 or whatever it is. But, you know, the chances are nobody's really going to do it. And then all of a sudden, millions of people start doing it. Millions. My brother did it. He sends me his. Now, I'll tell you that we are uh, primarily Irish, you know, mixed with a couple of other things. Um, my father's Dutch, so, you know, whatever. And it came, now we knew we were Irish and we knew we were Dutch, you know, and then it came back where it was like 60% Eastern European. That, that's information that he got by giving up his DNA. 60% Eastern European. I mean, you could just throw a dart at a map and, and guess that. We could have guessed that we're somewhere generally around there. It's, it, I don't want to say it's a scam because some people learn a lot of stuff from it, whatever, but now they have your DNA. They got all this stuff, you know what I mean? Um... Now, the next step of this, they haven't really convinced anyone yet to do it, but there were a lot of people getting ready to, is like the Magic Leap classes. The Magic Leap that turns um, virtual reality into, you know, what your room looks like and all that other stuff, and they put little dancing things around you. You, you can do it through your phone, but now they're coming up with, with glasses to do it. Um, VR, whatever. There's, there's a bunch of uh, companies that do it. But what the goal is, is that to see what you see. So what it does basically is you put these glasses on and they only kind of work inside that you can't like go outside and do it, you know, whatever, which is very telling because why couldn't you do the same thing outside that you can do inside? But so you put them on and it does like a mesh along the whole, the walls and the ceiling and the floor and the furniture and all that other stuff. And then you press a little button and a little mouse jumps on there and jumps around and dances and sings a song and does whatever it does. And everyone oohs and ahs. Wow, that's so cool. You see the little mouse running around my house and all that other stuff. But what it really did was it just mapped out the inside of your house. It just literally showed every wall, every piece of furniture, every everything on the inside of your house. So now when the millions of people are like, oh man, have you seen that new virtual reality glasses where you can... Like, you can be in your room and throw a ball, and it shows up in my room, and it's going to be so cool. But they're just mapping out everybody's damn house. So you people are making it way, way too easy to, to mine this data. I mean, like I said, it's going to benefit me because I don't care. I don't care if they see my past. I don't see if they care if they see my future. I don't care about none of that stuff. I want the, I want the electronic heart. I want the, 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 the electronic kidneys. I want the superpower where I could, I don't know crush a can in my hand. I want all of that stuff. I cannot wait until all that stuff happens. So the data mining with me, pff, I don't care. They can have all of that stuff. But I still don't give it to them. Like my Apple ID is under like, whatever, it's a fake name and you know, all that other stuff because I'm, I'm dumb, but I'm not that stupid. I mean, you know, I, here's another example. I'm on a computer. I'm looking for something. I don't even know what the hell I was looking for. A tooth, uh, not toothbrushes, um, paintbrushes or something, right? I don't even have Facebook. But my wife does. So she goes on her Facebook and says to me, oh, you, you were looking for uh, for paintbrushes? Hmm. What? Every article on her Facebook is about goddamn paintbrushes. I'm like, holy smokes. So that tells me that I, well, however they're doing it, they're doing it. And they're paying attention. And God bless them. They can do whatever they need to do. But um, now 
Now they also they have not also, but they have now Alexa. Boy, and Alexa is always listening, always listening. She knows what you're drinking, what you're talking about, what you, whatever, whatever you're doing. She knows all about it, and it's absolutely incredible the information that they can get. So I have this little like um, little portable MiFi box. You know, it's a little thing for. Uh, for like uh, getting Wi-Fi on my phone and stuff like that, right? So I have this little portable thing. And the other day I turned it on and um, it said one device connected. So I'm like, one device connected? I wonder what that is. So I look and it says, my Apple TV is connected. So I look back at my Apple TV. The power light's not on, nothing's on. Why is my Apple TV connected? And it's not even on. And I thought, dun, 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 dun. But now my Apple TV is listening to me. It's watching me all the time along with everything else. So all this data mining that they're doing, they literally have your whole life mapped out. And it's all because you voluntarily gave it up. It's incredible. Um, there's a saying that goes, if it's free, you are the product. Meaning that they're going to get information from you. They're going to get something. It's not, you know, they want you to hear, here's a free trial of this. Well, they want to know if you like it. They want to know if you're going to use it. They're going to know if it's good. And now artificial intelligence, even if it even if it's not free, you know, you pay a thousand dollars for an iPhone, and guess what? They're gonna get your face, they're gonna get your fingerprints, they're gonna get your Apple ID, your address, your phone number, whatever. You're gonna have little mice jumping around your house, you're gonna get your get you to scan your whole house, they're gonna get your GPS, they're gonna know where you've been, where you do whatever. Not that it's a bad thing. Like, who knows what they're gonna do with it? But with artificial intelligence, they'll know more about you than you know about you. Which is just, I just find it incredibly intriguing how they can continue to convince people to give up all of their information without even people knowing that they're giving it up. I think it's a phenomenal, phenomenal concept. It's a new age of marketing. It's a new way to do things. But you guys are really making it too easy. Guys, making it way, way too easy. But like I said, benefits me. So keep it up. Keep giving them all the information. And then when a the time comes where they have robots in my house, and they're doing this and cooking breakfast, breakfast and doing all that other stuff, I'm going to be all for it. All for it. So that's my spiel on artificial intelligence and where I think this world is going and how the information is uh, being distributed through means that they don't even have to really mine. They just have to ask you for it, and you're giving it up smooth. So there you go. Now you are wiser. Now you have a better understanding. And I don't even know if any of this stuff is true or if I'm just a goddamn lunatic and I don't uh, have any idea what the hell's really going on. But it sounds good in my head. It sounds good in theory. You know what I mean? So onward and upward. And we'll see you when we all have, uh, you know, uh, machine hearts and lungs and eyeballs that have little um, wires sticking out of them and all that stuff. I can't wait. I'm doing all of that stuff. See you on the other side.